All right, Texas Governor Greg Abbott is facing off with New York City Mayor Eric Adams over busing illegal migrants from the Texas border up to the city of New York. Joining me now is the aforementioned Texas Governor Greg Abbott, old friend. Governor, thank you, sir. So let's get right to it. So I'm reading all this stuff. Eric Adams, I might add, who is a friend of mine or an acquaintance of mine, but he's saying he's charging you with hypocrisy. But here's what I don't understand, Governor. Um, Mayor Adams is for open borders, uh, and he's for sanctuary city in New York, and he hasn't uttered a peep against Joe Biden's uh, failure to stop the uh, uh, illegals. So who's the hypocrite here? This is the part I don't get. You got to help me out, sir. Well, you're you're spot on, uh, Larry. Because uh, remember this, but before uh, Texas began busing these migrants up to New York City, for a long time, President Biden had been flying them to New York dropping them off in places like Westchester and other places uh, where people would wind up in New York City. And there was not a peep from Mayor Adams at that time. And so Mayor Adams is just playing political games. But more importantly, he's aiming his ire at the wrong person. He needs to be pointing his finger at President Biden himself. The only reason why we have all these people coming across the border is because of President Biden's open border policies. The only reason why Mayor Adams is having to deal with this is because of President Biden's open border policies. You know, because you served in the administration, it was just two years ago that we had record lows in the number of people coming across the border illegally under President Trump because of the four policies he put into place that Biden eliminated when he became president. And now, Larry, we have the highest illegal immigration in the history of the United States of America. Yeah, the last count I saw, Governor, uh, past 12 months, 2 million illegals crossing the border. And, you know, the thought is, from my point, in a sense, you're giving uh, Mayor Adams and a lot of the other lefties here in New York kind of a taste of their own, because uh, you have to deal with this every day in huge numbers. You're just you're sending numbers. I saw you've sent about 300 people uh, up from Texas to New York City. The airplane flights you referred to was about 5,000 people. But you're giving them, you know, a taste of what it's like being in Texas, and they don't much like it. And, and the thing I don't understand, Governor, they continue to be proudly for sanctuary cities, right? A, a magnet for illegals, and I might add a magnet for uh, soft on crime and lawlessness. And now they want Washington to bail them out. New York City has asked Washington to bail them out for the immigration problem, which was made in Washington by fellow Democrats. This just boggles my mind. Well, it is insane. I do need to update you and your audience on the numbers, because uh, as of today, that we've sent more than 30 buses to New York City and more than 1,500 illegal immigrants to uh, New York City. And so, and the buses just continue to flow every single day because the number of people coming across the border illegally continues to flow every single day. Uh, but you, as you point out, listen, they, they, New York self-identified as a sanctuary city, mm. but when they were put to the test, they said, oh no, we cannot deal with this. Small towns in Texas of only 10,000 or 15,000 people in population are having to deal with two or three or four times the amount of illegal immigrants that New York City is having to deal with. Uh, and so it is pure hypocrisy on their part. Uh, it's fine for Mayor Adams to talk the talk about being a sanctuary city, but when he was forced to walk the walk, he could not do it. Is it true that um, Mayor Adams sent some New Yorkers to go door to door in Texas and the New Yorkers decided they liked Texas so much they stayed. Is there any truth to that rumor? <laughs> that was a joke, but, you know, uh, I'm making a point. <laughs> yeah. So the, 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 truth, the truth is this, Larry, and, and that is that Mayor Adams threatened to send people down. Oh. I think the people probably knew they'd be in bad shape, but many people have left New York and have relocated their businesses uh, and their families to the state of Texas because they found doing business in the state of Texas is better I know you're a business show, so get this. This this May, Texas, for the first time ever, became home to the more headquarters of Fortune 500 companies than any other state. Yeah. They're fleeing New York, California, and other places and relocating to the great state of Texas. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised at that. So, you know, last one, Governor. Look, at, I don't, um, I mean, it seems to me Mayor Adams should worry about crime in New York, which is our biggest problem here. And he also should be pressing President Biden 
to have a policy that would close the border. I mean, we're now almost two years into Biden, right? I still don't see one whit of a policy to close the border. Remain in Mexico, build the wall, et cetera, et cetera. You know, re provide more customs agents and so forth. You know all this better than I do. But I don't see anything in two years. And I think Democrat Adams should be pounding Democrat Biden for relief. You're absolutely right. Whether it be Mayor Adams or uh, the mayor of Washington, D.C., both of whom are frustrated uh, about having to deal with this inflow of migrants, they need to be pointing their uh, focus toward uh, Washington, D.C., as well as the Biden administration, because this is happening solely because of the Biden administration. But you do point out something else, and, and that is what Mayor Adams is having to deal with, uh, as well as uh, in Washington, D.C., and that is uh, we, we have this sense of lawlessness, in, in part uh, because they've abandoned the rule of law, and they have uh, not only sanctuary city status, but, but also uh, a defund the police attitude. Mm -hmm. uh, and we, we see that, interestingly, arise in my campaign against Beto O'Rourke because he stands for open border policies and defunding the police. And it leads to the chaos that so many people in New York are so frustrated with. We will not let that happen in Texas. Well, I appreciate that. Uh, I will say this. Um, Eric Adams is not in favor of defunding the police. The problem of that uh, and the, you know, no bail, no jail stuff that we have to live with here, which recidivism is just off the charts, as you may know, is a governor. It's a governor named Hochul. And she's running against a fine person named Lee Zeldin, who's a House member. And um, Zeldin's victory would help us a lot in the battle against crime in New York. But I wish you luck in your uh, uh, election, sir, Governor Greg Abbott. Thank you for coming back on the show. We appreciate it. Thank you, Larry. You bet.